State Library is soon to be home to one of the largest Holden archives in the world with the addition of many never-before-seen exhibits. Former employees have helped select the material that tells an amazing story from buggy builder to maker of the first all-Australian car. Delve deep into technical drawings and exhibits now being assembled in the State Library and soon you're cruising down a highway of memory. The Holden Collection contains thousands of exhibits including gems like this, an owner's manual for the 48215, otherwise known as the FX Holden, the first all-Australian car. Proof that post-war Aussies could design and manufacture their own family sedan. But the story stretches back much further, with the Holden name embedded in SA history. So you go back to 1859 when it first started, so they were, they were making leather goods and, and coaches. And saddles for a local customer, who according to this letter, had to wait. And the letter comes back to the customer and said, we'd love to build you a saddle, but we're flat out making all this equipment for the Boer War. So uh, we can't actually give you one at the moment. The Holden family started out in a small Hindley Street factory. But as the horse was replaced with greater horse power, the family started making car bodies. Very quickly, Holden became by far the biggest one and ended up being the biggest body builder pretty well in the Southern Hemisphere. The Birkenhead and Woodville plants were flat out making cars for US and British companies. And then the war hit. Woodville was massive in, during the war. And women were the ones who were making so much of the material. And we've got some stunning photos of women with their hair all ni nicely done up, um, working on making munitions. At Woodville? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Jeff Jamison worked at Holden for 36 years and he puts this exhibition in its historical context. We proved to the world that we could do these sorts of things. So that enabled us to go to General Motors and say we want to have a go at being the first company to produce Australia's own car. And you could select leather or vinyl seating and all the other trimmings. I had a mate who had a VB Commodore, if I remember rightly. It was the first Commodore right. that, that Holden's made. Okay. Um, is it, and it, uh, from memory it was sky blue. Sky blue. Have you got one of those? Oh yes, do I actually. All right, there we go. There it is. The Holden story is crucial to generations of South Australian families who will now have access to one of the largest archives in the world when it's officially opened early next year. We have that very special connection here in South Australia with Holden, so it is uh, particularly important for State Library to hold this collection here in South Australia. Ron Candelars, 7 News.